Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Elden Ring walkthrough. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am, and today we are going to be making our way to Castle Soul. But before we do, like always, let's go ahead and talk about everything I did off screen. And really all I did was farm up a ton of ruins, enough ruins to be able to get six levels. I also went ahead and put on the great bow and leveled it up to plus 14. And then I went and bought some great arrows as well. All right, now that that's all been said, let's go ahead and level up. We're going to put two into Vigor, two into Strength, and two into Dexterity. I'm not sure if I will continue leveling after this. We'll just have to see. But now what we're going to do is go to our map. I'm not going to put any markers down. And the reason why is because the path that we're taking is very linear. We're only killing a... Um, death mariner i think they're called and then a death bird and then we're heading straight to castle soul so let's do that now over here i like to hug the cliff side and the reason why is because the death mariner summons in these big skeleton guys so be careful of that right about here we want to hop down Take out this snail first. Okay, so for killing the Mariner, we get the Helphian's Steeple and a Death Root. Let's go ahead and go into our equipment. We're going to put on the Lord Sworn's Quality Greatsword that has our Sacred Blade on it. We're going to need it for the Death Bird. go ahead and top our health off real quick and then right up here we're gonna backtrack just a little bit we're gonna scoop ourselves up a golden rune tin and then we're gonna come down this way grab ourselves another golden rune now the only reason I didn't come down here and grab these items before fighting the Mariner is because of the big skeleton guys. Grab a golden rune 11. Right over there between the big gravestones, there's a big skeleton dude. If you kill him, he will um, die indefinitely, but it'll also give you a good amount of runes. For now, we're gonna come over here to activate this summoning pool. And then, you know what, let's hop off because the death bird is right here. Oh my good god, that was so far. This is one of the stronger death birds, by the way. Just be careful. Should probably heal myself. So. There we go. So 
So for killing the death bird, we get the death ritual spear. Not really that great of a weapon, in my opinion. We're going to put on Bloodhound's Fang. If we come over here, we can get ourselves a Starlight Shard. Then we'll come down over here. going to bring down this wandering mausoleum. Be careful not to get stepped on. skulls over there. We're going to start working on this side here. mausoleum is starting to lower. We're going to wait for it. And then we'll go up to it and open up the doors. And then we're going to just walk up here to mark it on our map. I like to keep this stuff marked, that way I can always come back and use a remembrance if I want to. So right over there, there is a grace we can light. We're not going to worry about that right now. We're actually going to go behind Castle Soul, just over here to the northeast. We're going to grab ourselves some golden runes. And I believe a somber smithing stone eight. Get a golden rune five, a four, and then right over here, get a ten. Careful, there are going to be a couple of hawks over here. Come right here. Grab ourselves that somber smithing eight. And then we hop down. And here's the grace. We're just going to rest at the grace for just a moment here to get all our flasks back. Activate the summoning pool. Put our shield back on. We're going to be fighting two lions. Second one waking up. 
Do not step in that uh, frost mist. It builds up frostbite so fast. And there's our second lion. Grab the golden ruin tin. And then we're going to come under this scaffolding to grab ourselves a smithing stone five. Then we want to run over here by these palisades. At least I think they're palisades. Gonna run down to the item over here. Careful of the slugs. Grab ourselves some nascent butterflies and then climb up this ladder. We want to be really, really careful because we are going to have some guys shooting ballistas at us and they have exploding bolts also a guy is going to be throwing uh, fire pots at us he's pretty annoying try to beat him at his own game here though I can't see him oh well we're not going to worry about it we're going to grab the golden rune 10 and then right over here we can come over to this opening and make things a little easier for us. The guy disappear. There he is. Now he'll be off of that ballista and we can go kill him a little easier. We have a second one that's going to be shooting stuff at us as well, so we want to work fast. him out. Go ahead and grab yourself a smithing stone six and then we're going to go down this ladder. Grab ourselves a painting and then open up this door. Don't worry about the door. We're going to take an alternate route. So what we want to do is jump up on top of these and then we're going to jump over here, grab ourselves this Stormhawk Axe and there should be a hawk somewhere around here. Ah, there it is. Only hawk we have to worry about. Thank Jeebus. Those things can be pretty scary. And then we could run over here. It's not really necessary to run over here. I just want to show everybody this is the door we just opened up and grabbed the painting from. I'm going to run straight through here.
two guys over here. Careful of the guy shooting bolts at you. We're just going to do a quick heal. And then right here, we're going to have a banished knight. Let him do his thing. Grab some boluses, and then over here we have a grace. I'm just going to light this real fast. And then come out here and climb this ladder. We're going to run over here, grab ourselves an item real quick. What I like to do here is grab the great bow or a bow in general and shoot the banished knight over there. He's going to warp to us. And then I fight him before having to deal with the wolves. Normally I don't fall down right there, so I apologize for that. I'm just going to have to backtrack. A little bit here. There's one of the wolves. And the second wolf is right over here. Grab a stone sword key. I honestly don't think we're going to need any more stone sword keys. I think we have more than enough at this point. We can open up any secret door or imp statue. Not secret door. I apologize. The imp statues that we want. We're just going to rest at this grace real fast. That way we can have our wondrous flask of physic back. By the way, if you want a different looking Banished Knight set, you can sit right here and farm that Banished Knight. Right over here we get the Eclipse Shultal. Over here we will be going through that in just a moment. But first we're going to veer off to the right. Pull out our Great Bow. And then right over here, we got a guy with a crossbow. Want to take him out. And then we can climb this ladder. Going to have another enemy over here. Or at least we should, if he didn't. Okay. I thought maybe he fell to his death or glitched out. You never know. gonna hop down here we have another banished knight this one's a little more difficult be careful of that move it is nuts the combo that he has is just crazy Grab yourself a Cerulean Amber Medallion. 
plus one. I believe we already have the plus two, so it's not really that great of a medallion to have at this point in the game. In my opinion, I never use that medallion. It just doesn't seem as useful because if you're playing as a spellcaster, you're already having like a ton of FP. Right here, we're going to jump across. And then we're going to take the ladder down. I have not tried to jump down here, so I don't know if you'll take fall damage or not. I don't think you will just because it doesn't seem like it's that far of a drop get three smithing stone sevens and then we can come over here get ourselves a rune arc now we want to fast travel back to the church of the eclipse We're going to come through here. Be careful. We're going to have those face muncher dudes. And then we're going to have the hanging old guys that will scream if you let them. And you do not want these guys to scream. If they do, they're going to summon in some banished knights. And that is not very fun. Just take them out with your bow or great bow, whatever you're using. Spells. Grab that smithing stone six. And then we are at the boss room. Right here, we're going to send this elevator down. This is a shortcut just in case you die in this boss fight. He's not that hard, but they can be difficult. Or, well, this boss can be difficult, but in my opinion, I never really struggle with them. Let's go ahead and summon in our Mimic tier. Heal ourselves. He's going to summon in two Banished Knights. Take the Banished Knights out first. And then let your Mimic Tear get his attention. Oh my goodness, stop two-handing. I'm using the uh, wrong button for some reason. I'm just being a uh, ditz. bad There is Commander O'Neill. I think it's O'Neill or Neil, whichever one, doesn't matter. Uh, so for killing him, you get the Veteran's Prosthesis. Go ahead and light this grace.
I think it's Commander Neil, not O'Neill. We're gonna come up here and we're gonna get ourselves the Halig Tree Secret Medallion left. So now we have the whole of the Halig Tree Secret Medallion and we can go to a secret area. We're not gonna be doing that anytime soon. We're going to be coming over here to the White Ridge Road. I'll see everybody over there. Let's go ahead and take this guy out. We're gonna clear this area. Main reason why is because we're gonna be trying to grab a silver scarab and it's kind of hard to grab it when you have a bunch of enemies trying to kill you. So we're just gonna go around and kill all the enemies, make sure that we don't have to deal with any of them while we're trying to get the scarab. I forgot to put my shield back on so now my Mimic tier is going to probably spam spells. We'll see. We'll see. We're going to come over here to the northwest. Got the Staff of the Guilty, that's a random drop from the um, enemies right here holding that staff. It's not even that great of a staff if I'm going to be honest. Snuck up on me. Grab another stone sword key. Man, my mimic tier is grabbing aggro of every enemy in this area. Cool, got the uh, monk's flame mace. So right over here, we're gonna get a little closer. Shoot the silver scarab down. Take it out to get the ash of war prelate charge. There's one more enemy over there, but it's so far away that it's not gonna aggro to us. We should be just fine. I'm gonna go inside here. Take that dog out. Grab a golden rune tin. Kill that flame guardian. Oh, I forgot about the dog. I'm like, what are you killing, dude? Hop down right here. There's a rat kind of hiding off in those boxes. And then we're going to climb the ladder. And we're going to have two more flame guardians over here.
grab ourselves an item right here. And then over here by these broken boxes, there's a spot to jump over to. I'm gonna take out these dogs that are over here first. And then we have the chief guardian. And pretty much had him dead before my mimic tier even stepped in. We get the one eyed shield for killing that enemy. Pretty cool shield. It's kind of like a uh, cannon and a shield all together. You can uh, load it up, I believe, with like a bolt or a great arrow and uh, shoot out a ball of fire. Pretty cool. Should really try it out. Right here we get the giant's prayer book and then we're going to come down this ladder. We have one more item to get. And then I think we're going to fast travel back over to the round table hold. Grab some smoldering butterflies and then we're going to go back to the round table hold. I'll see everybody over there in just a second. go over here to the finger reader talk to her for just a moment <sighs> you have returned what is it so for killing commander neil we can get the veterans armor set we already know that we can get the fell omen cloak we talked about that uh a while ago now. now go let the world. And then that is the only thing I really wanted to show everybody here at the round table hold. I think right here is where we're going to end the video. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean a lot to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night. Whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.